Hey there, hey there. Happy July 2021. Lee Saunders, Century 21 Sword Associates. Hope you're doing well today. Going to just get right in today's uh, market update letter. As you know, we do four a year. We're at the half mark. We're talking about January of 2021 to June of 2021 versus that same period in 2020. Let's get into it. So let's talk about this. This is Cape Fear Realtor. It's through the MLS, all property tax types. So that's going to be single family homes, townhomes, condos, and such. So we have increased our sales year over year, sales volume by 52%. That means that we have done a lot of real estate sales this quarter, this half. Uh, average closed unit, so we're up 31%. So we sold 32% more doors this year than last year. Same time period, the half year over year. And then the average sales price, last time I reported at 14%, now I'm pleased to report the average sales price is up to 15.76%. That means prices are going up. So as we know, inventory, still a struggle. Scarcity pre creates urgency, creates folks that are gonna pay a little bit more for homes. And we see that in the 15.76 increase in average list price. That has a lot to do with builders as well, but not a problem. And then the last piece of data I want you to understand is 63 days. That's the average days on market for all property types in the local MLS. So you might expect it to take about 63 days to sell your home in today's market. Now, what do these stats mean to you as a buyer? What should I think about these stats as a seller? Well, I'll tell you, give me a call, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, and I'll tell you how this is going to impact your real estate goals, what's going on in the future, or what we expect to happen in the next quarter, interest rates and such. So you want to get deeper dive into this and see how it fits into your real estate goals? Give me a shout. Lee Saunders with Century 21. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.